The students who come to the ENRP program bring a real passion for environmental policy. And our goal over the two years that they spend with us is to equip them with the tools they need to take that passion and turn it into actionable policy, that they can make a tangible difference in the world. I think it, any program, especially an environmental policy type program, requires uh, the input from multiple disciplines. Political science, economics, statistics, and the sciences as well. Without some training in the sciences, it's hard to conduct or understand good environmental policy. You have to have a strong core of science. You have to understand why greenhouse gases warm up the earth. But you also need to understand that there's a human perspective to this, that there's an economic perspective to this, that there's a policy perspective to this. This program really allows students a lot of flexibility. They uh, have certain requirements in the sciences and in policy, but if they choose to uh, form the program such that it's heavier on science, they can do that. If they want to make it heavier on policy, they can do that as well. Customizing my curriculum was very important to me. I think that you do get the flexibility in your curriculum to focus on sustainability or focus on planning, focus on economics. So having the base of science and policy and then being able to pick and choose what you really are interested in was very useful. Because of the proximity to various government agencies, we are able to offer the opportunity for students to go to real environmental institutions so that uh, they, can, they can start to actually put their hands on real environmental issues. There are a lot of opportunities that people don't get, and one of the big ones is the proximity to you know, a lot of centers of thought. There are tons of policy institutes. Being in D.C. and being at George Washington University in particular, ENRP students get a huge value added because their fellow students typically work in the field. They have their own work experience, they have their own connections, so when students come here to the ENRP program, they're not only getting an education, they're getting a network. We do a couple different sorts of things. I think probably the most relevant thing that we're doing these days is we're working with NASA in uh, developing and deploying new sensors for greenhouse gases. And part of that work is we're working with both people who are measurement people, people who run satellites who are looking for global information, as well as climate model people. So it's kind of a nice synergistic way of, of seeing what data that they actually want and, and need. I think the best part about the program was certainly the capstone, uh, which we did at the end. I worked with the Department of Energy, was able to travel out to Durango, Colorado, um, and work on an actual project. There was a former uranium milling site that wasn't being used for anything else and they were trying to repurpose it. And we are looking at putting a four and a half megawatt solar field on it. So a group of us were sent out there to Durango to meet with community leaders, civic leaders, members of the government um, to try to see what we could do to help the Department of Energy get that project up and off the ground. You work in a team, in a real environment, on a real problem with an agency that's going out into the field and we were able to gain not only knowledge in environmental field and, and environmental communication, environmental justice, but we were also able to learn professional skills in working with a government agency, working with a community and bringing all of those things together in one project. So many of the students here not only think that they can change the world, but that they ought to change the world and they bring that level of passion to all of their studies and to their work. It's not hard to get passionate about environmental issues. You can pick up the newspaper and see topics like climate change, biodiversity, fracking, the XL pipeline. So there are lots of important environmental challenges out there. The question is, do you have the skills and the talents to take your passion and turn it into effective results? What we're trying to do in the ENRP program is give students the skills they need, the analytic skills, the implementation skills, and the evaluation skills so that they can actually make a difference.